everyone! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Moira and today I am going to build my tropical house design plate in The Sims 4! That title was a mouthful but anyways, this plate was made in my third year in Arki school. We had a subject called tropical design so it's all about tropical design and so we had a house plate but this was um, by partners so I didn't do this alone. Credit to my partner Sarah. A shout out! <laughs> First I will be reacting to it of course but since this is digitalized na yung renders namin and everything I'm going to post here ding, our presentation our final presentation and then I'll just share some of it before we go into building. Hello title. It's called the leaning house because it's leaning. Okay, diba? <laughs> Basically, we had to design a house and it was up to us who the client was going to be, concept, where it was located, everything. So we had the freedom to do so. But it's important, tropical house. Client that we came up with was a married couple in the late 20s. Both um, work in the digital, the digital industry and works at home. Para, but coming one home office. And they have a daughter. So, design concept for his family, resilience, asymmetry to give it more character. Um, these are all very basic concepts. I mean, oh, my hip magam up with the concept kapag bahay lang. Kasi, at the end of the day, gusto lang natin ng bahay na matiter han natin. Hindi yun natin. Minsan yung isip ng kailang ng sobra sobrang kaartehan. Okay, so next form finding. So, this is usually what we present during presentations, how you came up with the form. And so, here is the exterior perspective. There's the front and then the back. And these are the sun shading devices that we use vertical louvers and the vertical garden. Ayun. Kasi, also, the reason why we came up with the leaning design is because. Sabi ng prof namin, um, we had to come up with a design that wasn't too ordinary. Yung medyo kakaiba naman, diba? Para ma display sa haraya. Which eventually, the display nga siya. So, yay! Okay, anyways. Next, okay, so this is the roof plan, site development plan, basic. First floor plans, you have the carport and medyo akit in the stairs. Nasa kabilang side yung door. And then when you enter, there's the living room. Um, a few stairs upwards, there's a powder room. And then an open concept kitchen and dining room. And the dining room opens up to the lanai area so that kapag my parties, it's very close. And then we have the stairs upwards. And then here is the perspective of the living area. Since by partner shop, naghati kami. Ako yung assigned dun sa magiging ng floor plans, like yung final, ganon. And interior perspectives. And then si Sarah naman yung sa exteriors and elevation, computation, ganon. So that's the living area. And then we have the kitchen and the dining. So everything is very white and fresh. And then up to the second floor, you have the kids' bedroom, toilet and bath, and a family area or an entertainment room. And then here is the perspectives for that. Ito, very pink. And if you can see there, there's a bitmoji picture of me and Sarah on the table. Lastly, third floor is the master's bedroom and the office. And the master's um, toilet and bath. So this is the office and the master bedroom. Elevations show, this shows back effect. Kung paano nag travel yung air. And ayan. And here are the elevations. So kitang kita sa front yung leaning. Pag nun. O diba? Very archy levels. <laughs> uh, side loud glasses. And then the south one's the vertical garden. Uh, the back one faces south. Kaya may vertical garden as on shading. Kasi south ang pinaka mainit. And then this the right elevation. And these are just some pictures of the sketch model that we did. So we had to take pictures of it for the sun. Ganon para makita kung effective ba. That's the plate. And now let's go build it in The Sims 4. Woo! Okay, so welcome to... I think this will be my last house build for The Sims 4 because I'm already ng the design plates. Um, so, anyways. So, here I am making it in The Sims 4. And as you can see, in the front part, I made like something slanted. Um, since our design is a leaning house. But The Sims doesn't have slanted walls. Um, so I tried my best to um, make an illusion for it. That's why I used a roof to create that slant. Um, but eventually I got rid of it because it didn't really look that well with the proportions of it and all. And I just changed um, the whole design to like 
instead of leaning, it's staggering, which kind of give out, gives off the same effect in the game. So that's okay. So there, I'm just making um, the walls, making sure that they're off the right size. But I think I made a lot of changes to it um, as the video uh, progresses because you know I changed it to staggering and everything. So yeah, that's me changing the wall colors just to see if okay ba yung slanted and then so I'm going, ah no staggering na lang. And it kind of gave off it kind of looked better actually. And then even at yeah at the back I also made it staggering. Although medyo tricky siya kasi <laughs> so anyways, and then here I'm making the service ledge. Um, that's where the vertical louvers will stand on structurally to make it more realistic. And I think I also moved the stairs. And there I'm moving it. So I made two sets. It's not um tuloy tuloy. <laughs> um, because it fit in this space better. So I had to readjust a lot of the walls yeah, and then making the opening and then since it was staggering it left that little bit of um space a floor so i had to make it a ledge even though it wasn't in the original design but sometimes you gotta do things because you want to make your design plate in the sims 4 and it's impossible to uh, make it as exact as possible yeah. but I think overall it it captured the essence of the design. So, uh, yun, I I had to make the foundation higher because originally in the floor plan, this is actually uh oh my god, I am losing my brain cells. And you, there's a contour in it. So it's uphill, but I didn't want to do that in The Sims 4 anymore. I just made it flat because I, I'm i not good at terrain in The Sims 4 because I think it was a later update and I just wasn't into it. Oh um, man, so that's the front elevation basically done. Uh, and um, I decided to do the elevations first before I go into the interiors just so um, everything's finalized and uh, it's really hard for me to pick windows you know, I kind of pick the same windows most of the time because they're the sleek ones the modern ones um, I don't know if I need more expansion packs but at the same time I don't even get to play the expansion packs that much since I only have one game right now in The Sims which is the 100 baby challenge and I don't want to have more than one game at a time because I don't think my laptop can handle it. So yeah, so I'm adding a lot of windows, of course. In the design, it was awning, all awning windows, but you can't really put awning windows on the same floor in The Sims because it's gonna glitch. Like it, it won't have the opening. Para maging opaque siya. So I just chose those windows. And then, yeah, I think this is the last one for doors and windows, hopefully, so that we can move on. And there, I'm adding the vertical louvers. They're the same ones that I use from my building my architectural thesis. I just enlarge them because when you enlarge them, sakto siya sa two floors. And then here, I didn't really know how to make the vertical gardens. So what I did first is I made a wall, a separate wall, and then replaced it with um, It's a fence, but it's a really high fence. So it kind of looks like the the ones for the vertical garden. So, and then I put the plants and then there I exchanged it with the fence type thing and then just added some landscaping based on the site development plan. Honestly, I'm also not the best at landscaping. I just kind of put random things, <laughs> which probably I should be better at since this is tropical design. So yeah, but anyway, so I, I also put some plants here on the service ledge para mas fresh yung pumapasok na air sa bedrooms. And then that, there, that's the 
plant ledge I was telling you about. It's not in the original design, but I had to do it for the sake of this um, build. And I think it even made the design feel more tropical-ish, more green architecture. Ganun. Although green architecture doesn't necessarily mean na just put plants and then tada, it's green architecture. It's so much more than that, even yung sustainability and stuff. Ganun. So I decided then then I decided first to do the bathrooms because they were the easiest. They were um, very straightforward and I love that wallpaper so much. Yung palm the banana leaves. I want to have that in real life. As in I want to have a bathroom just like that. Because <laughs> I think it's so fun and different for a bathroom. Yeah. Then yeah, I could <laughs> I had such a hard time choosing colors for the counters and the um, sink. And then there, I'm. I haven't tried yet if the that will work. The antagon, the toilet, because I pushed it aside to make way for the bathtub. Anyways, so here we are doing the kitchen. So there's an island in the middle, and then cabinets. Oh, I changed these cabinets. Um, I don't know because the cabinets in The Sims Four look. They look very plasticky, and I wanted something more textured. That's why I changed it to that. Although it still isn't the best cabinet, but whatever. So, anyways, adding details. I love adding those little details in perspectives and in The Sims also because again they make um, the design feel more alive, more realistic. And I also love those mason jars. Uh, lights. I think they're so cute. And then anyways, here moving on to the dining room. Um, I, I think it's pretty close to the actual perspective. Also adding some more plants for that very tropical feel. <laughs> and then I just added a painting because I feel like the room needed a bit more pop of color and then here we are doing the living area um there aren't exactly couches that were as the same ones from my perspective so i just made do whatever also the lamp there <laughs> wasn't an exact lamp so yeah i just had to improvise and then uh adding the table and all those knickknacks picture frames and uh, center tables and stuff and I don't know why I didn't put a carpet here in my original perspective like it's it's so common to have an area rug but I just completely forgot and I was also contemplating whether or not to put a painting on the back wall of the one sofa because it felt so bland so white but I said eh, honor honor the perspective <laughs> so I didn't then uh, as you can see in the lanai area, I added tables and chairs. You know, for parties, um, there at least you have outdoor seating. And then here we have a very very high ceiling, um, because it will allow for what we call a stack effect. Wow, tropical design 101. So stack effect is basically having an opening or parang merong windows at as so that the hot air will pass through there, so the heat won't get trapped. So that's why um, a lot of uh, tropical designs have high ceilings and openings. Kung mapapansin nyo, may louvers yan sa taas. Um, usually, kapag architect talaga yung nagde-design ng bahay. Um, yun. So also, this plate was made in third year. And just by building this in The Sims 4, I realized how my style of design has changed, has evolved from yung first year plates cause and the yung last build it was just so it was so plain parang basta <laughs> you know, ito talagang it's more experimental with the forms it's more dynamic which um I think is what um UP Archie teaches us na dapat mas kakaibi <laughs> Okay, anyway, so here the office, ayan. So, diba, one side is for the fashion beauty blogger, ganyan, and the other side is for the um, gamer 
So, may backstory talaga yung <laughs> even the clients. Yun. Kasi, I don't know, it's more fun and it really should be it's re- it really should be like that when you're designing. Um anyway, so I put some awards ganyan para kung may nanalo sila. And then they also have this window that looks down to the dining area which I think is so cool para pa lang sila sumilip. Um if they're checking on their child ganon. <laughs> and then here is the master bedroom. Um, I think in the real design, it wasn't pushed all the way to that wall. I just forgot to leave a little space. Um, anyways, and I think we're almost done. Ang bilis lang pala. Um, I thought I would get a chance to talk more about what's happening in my life, but it's okay. Let's just have on the side. Um, anyway, so adding some light fixtures and then on that balcony ish i added you an andy warhol inspired picture and then here at the back this was supposed to be a service area in the original floor plan but i just decided to make it an extra outdoor seating area and we're done okay so now i'm going to take you on a virtual tour of the house by naman puro screenshots lang by the end of the video i'm sorry it's raining Today in my Sims 4, because eh, it's raining in the Philippines. Eh. So, yeah, so I paused the game first because the rain is just so loud in the game. So, anyways, here is the front elevation. This elevation faces the north. North, because it's like the pinaka fresco. You don't have to protect it too much from the sun. That's why there's a lot of windows to the outside. Ganon. And then. Here we have this is the left side elevation. So my god, I'm sorry this game lags sometimes. And and then at the back you have the vertical garden because this one faced the south and the south is the hottest area because that's where the sun travels. You have a little outdoor seating area. And then here is the lanai area as well. So this one naman is facing the east. This is where the sun rises. Um, it's actually good to also have some of your bedrooms facing east so that when they wake up there's natural light. This is what it looks like from the outside from a normal person's perspective. Then go here to the door. Ayan. Tara, pasok tayo. Okay, so this is the living room. Ayan. Very basic living room lang. And then when you go over here, you have the stairs leading upwards. Um, and then here is the bathroom. You have there my sim, Mayra. <laughs> so ayan, ayan. Bumabag yun na, bumabag yun na. This is what the kitchen looks like and the dining area. So anyways, let's go upstairs. Then over here, we have the entertainment area, the simple family area. And then over here is the toilet and bath. Over here is the kids' bedroom. We have there my Sim Atlas um, playing with the dollhouse. So this is what it looks like. And go up onto the third floor. Naman. So this is again another opening. Ayan, you have the chandelier. Oh yeah, lahat na sila pumunta sa office kasi nandun yung computer eh. So, here is the office area. As you can see, my Sim is playing the Sims. This is so meta. This is the office and over here is the this is the master. So, we have double sinks, bathtub and the toilet. And then just beside it is master's bedroom so very simple yeah that's basically it for the tour but guys that is it for this video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe and also don't forget to click on the notification bell so that you are updated whenever i post a new video comment down below what other video ideas you have for me because honestly after this i don't plan although i do want to like mix it up and try more vlog style talaga ng videos in yung mga a day in my life or something um other than these sit down videos so especially since it's the holidays yeah merry christmas so there's going to be a lot of things happening a lot of family events and friends and stuff so yun yeah. <laughs> anyways thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you next time bye